Duchess Georgians. Yes, we do crosses. We have a labradoodle and a cockapoo. That's a cross between a cocker spaniel and a poodle. Do we have a collie wobble? What's that a cross between? A sheepdog and a jelly. Goodbye. Good day, madam. I wonder if you might render me your assistance. I require two of your finest geese, don't you know? I've had trouble with you historical people before. Go on, then. Why? I intend to smuggle lace. I will force-feed the one, this fine lace, smuggle it into the country, and then have him vomit it up on t'other side. Oh. Well, that's not going to happen. What do you want the other one for? I intend to grease Tother's head and hang him upside down from a tree so as my friends and I can gallop underneath on horseback and pull his head off. It's called grease goose grabbing. George and fun and games, don't you know? Oh, I know what you're thinking. We kill them first. We're not savages. Well, we are definitely out of geese. You know, in the modern era, we actually like animals. Love them myself, my lady. Love them myself. How's about I purchase this kitty for two shillings? Oh, do you have another one? This one's quite fat. Couldn't possibly eat the whole thing. Cats are not food. Precisely. And that is why it shall prove such excellent entertainment when I eat a dead one whole at the Georgian village fete. <laughs> really? Go on, out you go. Otherwise, I'll get my dog on you. All right, all right. No need to release the hound. You'd lick him to death, wouldn't you, Muppet? Aye. Do you know of a place nearby that sells nails? I need something to feed my ostrich. Out! How dare you! There really was an ostrich that was fed nails in Georgian times. It was kept at the Tower of London and its keepers clearly didn't know what it should have been fed on. Thanks to its dodgy diet, it died. If a Georgian fed an ostrich nails and it got diarrhoea, would he have invented the first ever nail gun? True or false? At one Georgian fair, a wild bull was turned loose with fireworks tied all over it. It's... True. Some Georgians really were horribly cruel to animals, but at least they did come up with some more acceptable ways of entertaining themselves. Hello, I'm John Dunn. Hello, I'm John Joseph Merlin, and I'm here to tell you all. Hello, I'm John Joseph Merlin, and I'm here to tell you about my brand new invention, roller skate, the fun, fast way to travel. Oh, oh! My unique skate design features smooth metal rollers attached to a flat metal plate that simply straps to your existing shoe or boot or shoe. It's just like skating on ice, only much safer! Whoa! Once fitted, you can roll your way into any fancy function and you'll be the talk of the room. Look, darling, that man glides as if he is floating. No, he's wearing John Joseph Merlin's brand new roller skates. Oh! Well, that is better, then. Hmm. Well, it's perfect for playing the violin while on the move. Ooh. So try John Joseph Merlin's new roller skates today, and you'll be on a roll. Warning, early roller skates do not include stoppers or brakes. Brakes! <laughs> Knew I forgot something. Ooh. 